Hey everyone, this is Geo Will from the Clan Prediction Squared, and we're back for our Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. I should say for more of it. So... Oh, this is another material. I think I have one of everything. <clears throat> anyway, so, um... Last time we were recording, we did some, uh... Showed you a little spot over here where you get a lot of gill and experience. Uh, we're gonna skip that for now, though, and go heading over towards, um... Cosmic Canyon. But I need to, I should warn you that, um, do not drive the buggy towards Cosmo Canyon. Just get over the, uh, there's a spot you need to get over. Actually, I think we'll just go through here. Yeah. Same difference. But, um, there's a, uh, river you have to cross to get to Cosmo Canyon. But once you get close enough to Cosmo Canyon, the buggy will break down. And at that point, the buggy will then be transported after you're done to somewhere else. And you won't be able to go back to Fort Condor to, uh, do the next, uh, battle. And that will screw you over. Um, so, you'll need to, uh, leave it outside of Cosmo Canyon. Then, after Cosmo Canyon's over, go back to it. And, uh... That's when we'll be able to do that. Oh, and the buggy, um, if you go over towards Cosmic Canyon and the buggy breaks down, you'll miss that battle too. So it's Cosmic Canyon, you want to go over this river here. And then you'll go across it, and there'll be another river on the other side of the map, of the desert here, Corral Desert. That you want to go to. Or go over, I should say. Oh, it's a dingo. Sweet. Oh, it's a flat. I wonder if we can manipulate it. I don't think it has flamethrower. Um. I really have no bloody clue <laughs> to at this point in time as far as when it breaks go. I think Eris is on her rank 1 of level 3. Cloud is. I think they're all in rank 1 of level 3. So kills aren't important right now. It's break usage, that is. <clears throat> There we go. So she's on three now. Must have moved her back. Oops. So here's this right here. You want to go over it? And then you just want to leave this here. Um, so we're going to head to Gong Gaga first, because that's where we need to go. Well, it's it's a sub kind of thing, but there's a lot of stuff that happens there. And you get a new materia, too. Plus there's an extra boss fight, so it's more uh, experience. Is that petrification? Yeah, so these guys can petrify you. But they're pretty easy to kill. 
Gagan, Gagin, Gandhi, or something. I don't know what it was. Gagag, Gandhi, Gagag, Gandhi. I guess. You should be able to get the Titan Materia here, I believe. That might actually be later, though. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit of a spoiler I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> Not rude. Of love triangle. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? What are they talking about? <laughs> Only just walks up to stuff. <laughs> so this battle will be a little more difficult than. Uh, The last one. So, first things first, uh, big guard. So I'm going to use Barrett's Lightning skill. Um, I don't think you can steal anything from him. You get a Fairy Tail and a uh, Potion as a reward. So. I will have Eris summon Chocomog. And then I'll use um, Beta. So they have twelve hundred. They both have twelve hundred. Uh, not twelve hundred. They both have two thousand. So it should be two hundred. That's like half, more than half right there. They don't have any skills to worry about. So now once you get rid of one of them, they'll uh, retreat. They both retreat. Well, maybe not. Oh, I know why. It's because Rude's actually uh, stopped his name. That's right. Chocomog cast stop on him. Hello, interesting factoid. Um, if you have Tiffin in your party during this battle, Rude will actually not attack her <clears throat> at all if there's other members that are still around. And um, if she's the only member left, uh, she uh, Rude will not attack her uh, one third of the time. Just a little extra thing added in by the developers. But I like how they, they tie in the backstory or the you know, kind of lore into actual battles too. In that regard. <clears throat> spy. Dastardly spy. <clears throat> yeah. 
It doesn't mention it in the guide I'm looking at here, but I'm pretty sure you can get the, if the Titan material right now. Yeah, you can get it. Didn't mention it then. Okay, no, it does mention it. Oh wow, one of these guys. But it's not in the item list. Is what it is. I don't have any of this, I didn't see it. They call it Titan Materia instead of Titan Summon. Now. That's by the way, I missed it. It's essentially an Earth based attack. I'm not sure what it's effect is. Sorry. No, it's not really that good, to be honest. Our summon screen. Scarlet was not joking when she said to get crap material in these reactors. I think it's probably the weakest set of all the summon material. Another one of these guys. I'm not sure if you can get anything out of these guys as a heavy tank. Um, super manipulated. Steel. Okay, I got him manipulated. Steel should not, uh... Charge, wheelie, attack, big spiral. And none of those, I think, are... Yeah, those, that's not... There aren't any of these skills. Maybe I can try and steal something from them. Phoenix down, that's nice. <laughs> I'm literally killing myself. That's hilarious. So there's some other stuff to, to find here. Um, there's a death blow materia, white M phone, and another X potion. That's a little bit of some hints of things going on. Oh uh, yeah, frog touch. Or jab or very annoying stats. Turns your guy into a frog. Can't use any of their materia or special attacks. It's not persistent though. So at least there's that.
Which is what we just she just said a while ago, so <laughs> So you got some accessories here you can get. Also we've got uh, Mystify and Time, two new materia. I suggest you get them both, even though they're hella expensive. Fairy Ring could also be very nice. Um, I'll get two of those for training. Uh, yeah, level one, getting your rank twos. Um, let's see, let's hear the story now. Huh, interesting. Can't uh, believe Shinra was too happy about that. I think it's just too, yeah, too deep. Not sure about weapons uh, in terms of what you can get. Uh, Grand Globe, which I already have one of. So I've equipped it. I already have one of those. Diamond Pin, have one of those. So I pretty much have everything. Shrivel. This is mini. So these two essentially. Uh, I guess actually, technically, all of these are like materia items, if you will. Items that use materia effects. Which you can buy. So, um, So there's a couple, there's a, if you have Ares, Ares or Tifa with you, there'll be a, uh, an extra scene, special scene you can see here. That kind of throws in a little bit more to the backstory. It's on the bottom left. I'll, uh... It's actually, it's the exact same thing. There's the X potion you can find. Um, let's go talk to the uh, one store owner real quick again. Yeah, it's this one. One wonders how you get a second story in a small building like this. Okay, what about the second half of that? I guess there isn't one. <clears throat> Interesting. So I believe it's that one there. Of course, it, it, it's referring to as the reactor. Interesting. I guess as you go to each NPC and they tell you a bit more of the story, it adds on the, all the NPCs or something. So you got uh, potions and uh, items in here, potions and all that normal stuff. Then also a maintenance case, chronicle, be a soft, hyper tranquilizer. This will uh, cure small and that cure strong, though they're both, I think, not persistent. But they can be really annoying during battle, so you probably want to get a couple, though. I'm not going to, because... Actually, I actually don't need those now, do I? Because I have the hyper rings. What I will buy is a couple more tents and a few more high potions. I'm really chew through Gil buying that stuff. It's real expensive. Somewhere around here is also death blow material. 
might be that bottom house. <clears throat> we'll have to see. <clears throat> Jeez. Say a little bit of the, uh... <laughs> yeah. Um... Say that one. Alright, where the hell is this death limit area? Oh, there's a, it's on the left path, okay. Oh, okay, here it is. So what this will do is it'll allow you to have a critical hit, I think. Let me see. Um, death blow deals critical blow, critical attacks, does as much damage. Um, so <clears throat> I guess it allows you to have a critical hit no matter what. But it also will reduce your act, your uh, hit ratio by one third. So you should only use it on uh, weapons that have a high attack hit ratio. So that's all you need to do there. But is there another river we have to cross? There is too. All right, we'll need to continue over with them. Just need to make sure that as soon as I get over there, I get out of it. <clears throat> oh, Commander Grand, sure at least what they're. Yeah, they are Grand Arts. So it's not Commander. Arts. Pretty weak. Maybe I'm just that bloody strong right now. So I want to make sure I put a Fury Ring on Eris, and I guess I'll do one on Glove too, just because. That way uh, we'll be able to level them up, or level the limits here. So, Fury Ring, and the Fury Ring. Of course, they'll also take more damage, so I'll be mindful of that. There's a building over here. I never noticed this before. I wonder what it is. <laughs> we'll come back later. Funny. No 
I didn't even mention that house. Interesting. I forget when that comes into play. That's ah, probably during the second disc, though. Alright, ah, great. Ah, so they're in Berserk. I wonder if it's. I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. It didn't really increase the limit break, though, did it? Oh, wow. That was a strong attack. Frog. Maybe it's Mini that does that, but uh, Frog just uh, removes your ability to use Interrogan. It might just be that. But it may. I think it also does to slightly decrease your. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it here. <clears throat> your uh, attack power. Maybe not as much as I thought that. Many, though, will really drag it down. So, like, right in here somewhere is where the buggy will break down if you have it. Shahagans, I believe. Desert Shahagans. I guess it, yeah, it does do that, doesn't it? Increases the uh, limit break to HP. It just also puts them in fury mode. Essentially berserk, so you lose control. Still, it works out. Yeah. You don't want to use it like in the boss battle. Though. Just uh, against regular enemies is fine. So, Cosmo Canyon. I don't think it's back here. No. It's still a little bit forward here. Just gotta find it. Griffin? Oh, Mason? Yeah, Griffin. Again, we're like really high level for this area, so. Put in perspective, Brood and Rena's level back there were uh, 23 and 22 respectively. So we're like, you know, almost 10 levels higher than them in some cases. Or at least in the case of Cloud. Um, what's going on here? Oh, here we go. Cosmo Canyon. That's right, Nanaki. I knew it was something like not something Nanaki did. Buken Hagen. That's for some of these names. Good god. Oh, this is like one of the most epic uh, town songs in the game. Village BGMs. Circular 